Hi, this is Pete Olivier. I'm the calibration technician at Thompson Equipment Company. Today I'm going to show you how to set up and operate an E96 converter from Foxboro. This is a very reliable and rugged system. It's analog based. There's very little setup involved, uh, but we do have to do a little bit of calculation to, uh, to get this going. Uh, you will receive a calibration sheet with a calibration factor, even though it doesn't state on the sheet what units it's in, it's millivolts per GPM. Uh, you will have to know this number and multiply it times your intended upper range value on your, on your process. Uh, we're going to be using 250 gallons per minute as an intended range value here. Uh, the calibration factor that I have from this sheet is 0.03294 millivolts per GPM so we will take that 0 0.03294 times excuse me I typoed 0 0.03294 times 250 equals 8.235 and that's the number that we're going to have to dial in to our span potentiometer which is this device here there is a number in a window that is your integer part of the number and everything else represents the decimal part. So it's currently set for 7.5. I'm going to turn it up to 8.235 and it's not the easiest thing in the world to see. You may have to zoom in on it, but that is 8.235. We really only have two decimal places of accuracy on the potentiometer, but we can split the difference between the, the three and the four to get 235. And then we have a lock here on the side that we can lock it in position and then we open the door. You can calibrate by measuring by your excuse me you can calibrate your zero by tuning for either four milliamps or one volt depending on how you're wired up. I'm reading across a 250 ohm resistor which means we're calibrating for one to five volt range and zero has to be at one volt and I'm reading that with this multimeter here which will power up in just a second here at 1.02028 volts and there is a zero potentiometer it should be clearly labeled as such and using a tweaker we adjust this to bring that 1.002 down to 1.0000 if we can get there sometimes it's a little touchy. You want to make sure that you don't have any process running, any flow in the tube at all to get this as accurate as possible. That represents four milliamps, the bottom range of that's our zero. Touch it up, it's, it can be a little touchy but um, it will settle out eventually. It seems to have settled out here. And that's all there is to adjust an E96 secondary for a Fox Pro tube. Uh, very simple, very rugged, very, uh, very straightforward. Thanks for joining us for this little demonstration. I uh, hope we've answered some questions for you. If not, please feel free to call us at 504-833-6381 or check out our website. Thank you.